I have some observations concerning the ways of ancient religions that worship a supposedly infallible omnipotent being. Before you were born, your God had deemed your life to be under his control. Your every thought, word, and action is judged against his set of rules and regulations throughout your life and on into the next one. By the way, those rules and regulations, they were made up centuries ago. And certain ones don't even apply to modern living anymore. But don't worry. Although the clergy of your religion maintain that the word of your God, as written, is to be unchanged, they can interpret it as they see fit. It's also the clergy's job to make you aware of how lowly and insignificant you are compared to your God. Doesn't your God respect you? According to scriptures, no. He calls you a sinner and expects you to fashion your life after his needs, not yours. Well, does your God at least treat you fairly? According to scriptures, no. Your God says you don't know what's good for you, only he does. And you're a naughty child for ever thinking for yourself. The only way you will ever deserve your God's blessings is if you live your life in abject servitude of him. Even then, you still have to die in order to get the big prize. Bonus points for giving your clergy lots of money and persecuting those who don't follow your religion. So does your God even pay attention to you? According to scriptures, no. He has a preset plan for your life, no matter what you do. So your prayers for things to change don't actually mean anything to him. But don't you dare stop praying. Don't worry, little sheep. It's all part of the plan. Yes, these are all broad generalizations, but most of the major religions do have scripture about these topics in one form or another. Not that I want to resort to name-calling, but your gods are assholes. There is a point in your life when you need to realize that religious traditions, no matter how much they are sugar-coated, grow irrelevant and even offensive in our evolving way of life. If you never come to this realization, you're doomed to be left behind in the dust of the Dark Ages. It's true, there are a multitude of good, honorable, and virtuous guidelines laid out in religious scriptures. But it cannot be denied that there are so many bad, stupid, and just plain wrong ideas in those same books. Improvement comes from building upon, not undermining success, and learning from, not clinging to, failure. You will not progress by holding on to both. <laughs>